Hi guys, last week I saw an Italian TV chef make this Ligurian chicken and it looked so amazing I said I had to give it a go. Perfectly braised chicken in a sweet and salty reduced tomato sauce with Ligurian olives, anchovies and balsamic vinegar. It was so rich, it had a bit of a barbecue feel to it. So good and really easy too. Start off with about three chicken legs and sprinkle over about three tablespoons of flour. Then add a good fat pinch of sea salt flakes, followed by about the same amount of cracked black pepper. Then toss the chicken in the seasoned flour and massage the flour into it, making sure that it's all nicely coated. This is really going to help to thicken the sauce. Then set aside. Next, take some garlic cloves. I'm using six because I love garlic and can't get enough of it. You can use less if you prefer. And just peel them and then bash them with the side of your knife really hard so that they're just squashed. Once they're all done, then it's time to start cooking. Heat 100 milliliters of olive oil, preferably Ligurian olive oil, in a hot frying pan. Once the oil is hot, then add your chicken legs and cook for five minutes before you turn them over and cook for another five minutes on the other side. Then take them out and let them rest on a plate while you make the sauce. Do this by adding your crushed garlic to the fat. You can pour out some of that fat first if you like, but I didn't. Then add four anchovy fillets, again preferably Ligurian. Don't worry if you don't like anchovy fillets, lots of people don't, but you really don't notice them in this recipe. They just give a subtle savouriness to the dish. Now take a sprig of fresh rosemary and pull off the leaves and add them in. Then add two fresh bay leaves, but crumpling them up like this will really help them to release their flavour. Just throw them in as well. Now stir fry everything for about two minutes, making sure you try to break up those anchovies just to help them dissolve into the sauce. Then I added about a teaspoon of dried chili flakes. Don't worry if you don't like spice, this adds just a very gentle heat. Once they're just mixed in, then add about 100 milliliters of good balsamic vinegar. You want it to be kind of syrupy and let that come to the boil for just about one or two minutes until it's bubbling rapidly and starts to reduce. Then pile in 100 grams of pitted green olives that have been drained, followed by 200 milliliters of tomato passata. Stir that up before you add 100 milliliters of hot water. I'm using the container that I had the passata in just to make sure I get every last drop of it. Stir that in too before you return the chicken to the sauce. Spoon that sauce over the chicken while you bring it to the boil. Once the sauce is boiling, spoon it over the chicken again, then turn the heat down to low, clamp the lid on and leave it simmer for 40 minutes. Just go back to it every 10 minutes to take off the lid and turn the chicken. Remember to spoon more sauce over the chicken every time you do this. After the 40 minutes, I think it's probably best to transfer it to a serving bowl where you can spoon over that thick reduced sauce and leave as much fat in the pan as you can. I like to serve these at the table so that everyone can just dig in themselves and I serve them alongside my Italian roast potatoes. I might show you how to do them later. This chicken really was so good, so tasty and rustic and simple, but just really packed a flavour punch. Such a delicious, sweet, sticky, salty exterior with a really nice, juicy, succulent interior. It was so, so good. Thanks a million for watching, guys. I hope you liked this video and will give this recipe a go yourself. There's no reason why you shouldn't. It's so impressive, but still really, really easy. If you did like the video, be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below. And you can check me out on social media. All the links to my accounts are in the description, as well as the link to my blog, where you'll find this full recipe at www.rookiecook.org.